There's a bit of a stress getting it all ready. You know, last minute gong show. And you see a lot of each other throughout the year, but actually smash together the whole team and get them moving on a sort of adventure style trip was pretty neat. It's not a competition, it's not an event, it's just what would you choose to do if you had a holiday? I'd take my bros and I'd head to Argentina and I'd ride a bike. I'm in the middle for the 14 hour flight and it's completely full. Myself, I'd never been anywhere in South America, so I was expecting a totally new experience. You know, I just heard it was a beautiful place, and uh, and I was really excited to check it out. About to get pumped by Air Canada right now for my bicycle. I knew that Argentina had a lot of potential for good mountain biking. When we started planning the trip, I heard that we might go to uh, Catedral, this uh, big ski area, the biggest in uh, South America. Uh, I was pretty excited. Yeah, too much. So you're going to have to take five kilos out. Did you guys have to lose kilos? 37 kilos. Uh, no. That oh. one. How many kilos are you going There it is. Three now, so two more. Okay, we're there, we're there. No? Ah, shock. Half a kilo. My two old man. It's the rules. There's no rules. Who makes the rules? The union makes the rules. It's like, oh, my back hurts. I don't want to do this. Try lifting it. 32.5. 32.5. No, what's not? 32.5. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I quite enjoy watching the humor that evolves out of the check-in with the bags and bikes. It's always a hassle of crowd with bikes. Golf clubs are free, hockey gear is free, bike, oh yeah, casual 120. Because that's good mountain bike or, or dirt bags. Having traveled quite a bit, it's a, there's a, a whole process that everybody goes through and it's a very individual about getting ready for a trip. How you pack, it's kind of stressful. I know it sounds all bleh, 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 oh, traveling, it's so tough, but it honestly really takes it out of you. And it's not until you actually get yourself checked in and you've released your luggage to the airline, you know, that you can slowly relax. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. 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 Good trip in Argentina. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to commence our boarding Air Canada 92, destined to Buenos Aires and Santiago and Buenos Aires. Just a little. Next to Canada flight Two. zero. Two. Uh, Up, skip Two. and a jump. Scott here in uh, Buenos Aires. We're going to uh, find out where we're staying tonight, and then uh, head to Polos tomorrow morning. So it's gonna be a good time. Well, are we in that vehicle too? No. Well, then we're never gonna get everything in here, Pete. Our focus here was an all-mountain adventure to share a different style of adventure with a different group of people. That was some good sweaty work in there, Wade. All right, tarps off. Can everybody see their bag get into the car? No. no. <laughs> as far as the team goes with Rocky, we basically brought the A-grade boys. Wade Simmons, Jeff, Jeff Gulovich are guys that uh, I've done a lot of riding with. Thomas Bannerhound. Andreas Hessler, a very good combination of, of attitudes uh, and character, always makes for a great trip. Take a look around, this is probably the nicest hotel I've ever been in. <laughs> Trips like this are always, uh, they're always hard because you don't know how they're going to unfold, uh, especially after, you know, like two days of travel, two and a half days. But once we set foot in Buenos Aires and kind of saw uh, the flavor of Argentina, we knew it was going to be pretty fun. Now it's starting. You've got your bike here. You've got everything sorted. You've made it. Now the trip is really beginning. Well, we'd heard a lot about Buenos Aires um, before the trip. It's a huge city, millions and millions of people there, but it doesn't feel like overbearing or crowded. Um, it almost has a small city feel. And there's so much cool stuff to see, and the vibe is, um, is really chill. It's one of the nicest cities I've ever visited. Oh, I feel great. We're on a mountain bike trip. 
Why would we feel bad? <laughs> well, everyone's, everyone's a little hungover after giving her that night. Playing spuds. Not rocking the paper, but new game. That'll evolve over the course of the film. Okay. No. Fuck. <laughs> and then we jump on a... Um, a plane the next day to Bariloche. Things are, you know, smooth, casual. We get picked up. These are going to be our guides for the uh, for the week. A few of just the raddest dudes that I've met. Seppi and his crew really treated us so well, and it is just amazing to see going that far away from from home, where we're so used to a strong mountain bike community, and to see it there is uh, is great. It's great for the sport. So one of the key uh, the key guys here to put it all together has been Chris from uh, Bear Loge Tourism, and uh, he's been instrumental in making this trip happen. Andres, Andres. Okay. The big long trip. Long, long. Yeah. When I got to Seppi and told him uh, Rocky Mountain Team was coming, he was stoked, and he started working for four months. Uh, checking the spots, checking the trails, making sure everything would come out together. You know, we're here to we're here to to produce some great mountain bike footage. So there's always that like antsiness of like getting your bike dialed. A did it make it? The, did it make the flight okay? Is it going to be fine? And then you build it up. And of course, there's always some new scratches. We're on 2013 product, and it's always it's always terrible to see your first scratch from the airplane. You know. Then everybody, uh, everybody starts to twitch. Oh, we're all athletes. It's been a couple of days without biking. Let's go for that first ride. I mean, we did, and uh, it ended up being great. So it's really set the uh, set the tone for the trip. <laughs> so our first ride in uh, yeah. Argentina. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Not a bad place, man.